This is a story that begins on a warm spring night at a meeting of the 20th Century Motors employees. The plan was that everybody would work as hard as they could, but share in their salaries and the profit based on need. Remember, each of us now belongs to the other by the moral law we all voted for and we all accept. I don't. His words caused confusion, but he stood there like a man who knew he was right. I'll stop the motor of the world. And perhaps he had stopped the motor of the world. You see, his name was... Who is John, John Galt? Galt? Word was spreading quickly that another giant of industry, Dagny Taggart, had gone missing. What is your name? John Galt. Why does that frighten you? The man who invented the motor. You invented the motor? So you invented the motor. Am I a guest or a prisoner? That choice is yours. You're the destroyer. Get some rest. Dagby, it's wonderful to have you here. Enjoy the evening. Thank you, Rebecca. Dagny, this is a strike of our minds. So what are you demanding? Nothing. I'll pay my own way. I doubt it. You're penniless. What? So they're not in school? Oh, no, I'm homeschooling them. All of your life, you've heard people saying that we have to help the less fortunate. That philosophy can't work. While Thompson and his cronies were holed up in the Wayne Falkland Hotel in New York, preparing for his big speech, Henry Reardon continued his search for Dagny Taggart. Meanwhile, several Reardon steel workers died, defending a mill against a violent takeover by government-sponsored union thugs. Jim Taggart scheduled a press conference announcing the sudden return of his sister Dagny to New York. Dagny? I'm glad you're back. You've nationalized the railroad. No skin off your back. Uh, Cuffy? <laughs> Cuffy, please. Cuffy, there's trouble in California. There's talk of seceding from the Union. Oregon's overrun by gangs. We're dropping Minnesota. Ladies and gentlemen, head of state Thompson. Good evening, my fellow Americans. Tonight, I need to talk. Ladies and gentlemen, we're out of chocolate cake. Do you know why? I took it from you. Chocolate cake is a sacred possession. This is John Galt speaking. Finally, somebody says the truth and says it the way it was supposed to be said. If that speech doesn't do Thompson in, I don't know what will. Muzzle oh, those commentators. We want goats! We want goats! We want goats! The people wanted goat. What's the end? No. It's the beginning. <laughs> 